Hi, this is Fritz Westover with Westover Viticulture, and I'm in a vineyard in the Texas High Plains today. And this vineyard has already been pruned by the crew, and I'm critiquing the vine. So I'm going to share a little something about what lateral spurs look like and what we want to leave on those. So if you come in close here, you can see that the grower had a trunk on the vine in year um, one. In year two, they grew out a shoot to form their cordon. And from that shoot, we had laterals forming. So this is all last year's growth, one year old growth. And what we see is that we had good internode spacing. And at each of these internodes, we had a lateral with one, two, even more buds on that lateral. Typically, when we're forming our cordon, we don't want to leave too many buds in those laterals because it has a tendency to overcrop the vine and we get uh, two shoots out of there on a very young vine. So what I like to do is leave a rule of thumb to only leave one bud on that lateral and only if it's within about a finger of the cordon, so close, close down to it. We actually have another fruitful bud underneath there that could pop, um, so we don't want to leave too many. Here we have a lateral that's pushing out to the side. Remember our goal is to have approximately one spur position here, a hand width, and another spur position here so we can actually remove that lateral altogether. The next one here, we have our base bud. That's number one. That's fruitful. We have our first lateral bud and second lateral bud. Again, if it's pencil size wood, I'm okay with leaving one bud on the lateral, and you also have the base bud, so that's actually two buds you can get there. We put another hand down. We see a side lateral. We'll take that out. And here, we have one more uh, lateral with a nice bud position. A downward one will clean up, and this will give us the spacing that we need. One last tip on this one is at the end of our cane, which we've laid down approximately elbow to fist, we have a strong bud at the bottom here, a fruitful bud that we want to extend to finish our cordon. If we leave a lateral here, this bud on the top, the apical bud, will get the dominant energy. So if we take that out, we're now forcing all of the strength to go into that bottom bud and form the rest of our cordon. So basically, if you, if you can follow these simple steps and get the spacing you want, take out all the extras, you'll have less of a chance of overcropping the vine, and you'll be able to set up your vine for extending your cordon for the following season.